I've got a daughter right now, 13. First teen year, it's new to me. I love to build. It's what I do, it's what I've always done. My daughter, Chloe, she doesn't like to build, but she loves a project finished. And as a contractor, I don't get paid until I finish a job. So I love that that carries over to her in the sense that she needs something finished. However, she kind of takes that design role where she wants people to finish it for her. She knows how to do it, but Dad, can you just finish it up? Dad, can we finish this? So she's got that wanting to get it done, but she's not doing it. I'm a builder, I'm a contractor. It's a very male stereotype world. There's a lot of men, there's very few women in it. I'd like to see more women in our industry, but there's just not. I can't use those stereotypes with my kids. All the stereotypes that I have, uh, when I was a teenager, I've got to throw out the window. She's a girl, she's not a boy. I don't know her world that well. I just got to sit back, watch, and if I feel that anything's going wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll say something, I'll talk to her about it. But I got to let her figure this out. Just smart kids, she'll figure it out. I need to learn from her. I need to know the feminine side. I need to know that that's the world that she needs, and I've got to shut work off, go home, and say, how do we deal with this club? How, I, get, I get a lot of information from her on how to actually think about things. I have to shut my outside world off because those rules don't apply at all. So where Coco and I connect is, is different now. She's 13. It's, it's maybe those worlds cross over a little bit. Dad, can you pick me up? Dad, can you pay for these clothes? Um, Sunday morning breakfast, bacon and eggs, I make. This is the, I don't want her to find out about this because she'll probably shut it down. She makes me tea. There's a huge interaction, but there's not a lot of words between us. There's a bit more routine and she likes that routine. Even in the sense when she goes to her mom's house, she'll come back and, and say, okay, so it's Thursday night, it's taco night, are we having taco? Like, she likes that routine and I don't know whether she's doing it for me, because that's all I know is, is routine, or she's doing it uh, because she clearly enjoys it. She hasn't stopped, so I'm assuming she's enjoyed it, so uh, I'm not changing it. I've, I'll take what I can get. It's hard to interact with a 13-year-old girl when you're a 100-year-old man. <laughs> like, we have very little in common. Proudest dad uh, moment with Chloe is, I do a lot of work for her friends' parents. And they all have nice things to say, and that's fine. But every once in a while, you get in a very candid conversation with these clients, parents of her friends, who ask me questions. How does Chloe deal with this? Why is she like, she seems so calm. I like the fact that my kid is calm. I fly off the handle about things a lot. I'm really proud of the fact that she realized that's wrong and she's so calm. I haven't been a dad long enough to uh, give huge advice, but honestly, my best word of advice to anybody with a kid, give them space. Don't jump on everything. Give them time to come to you. Give them time to say something. Give them time to say it to you in their own words. Don't force anything.